In the heart of Derea, we dare to dream beyond the ordinary. And today, we stand amidst a living testament to those audacious dreams. Derea is a very special place. You know, if you look back 600 years ago, and even 300 years ago to the formulation of the first Saudi state, it's where the birthplace of the kingdom is. It's the home of Al Saud. It's the identification of Saudi pride. So now, in the image of His Majesty the King and the Crown Prince, we're embarking on a 14 million square meter development in which 100,000 people will live, pray, work, recreate, 50 million visits from around the world. So today's next chapter is its destiny to become one of the great gathering places in the world. There, almost on a daily basis, there's, a, there's something that moves me. But I think if you look at the center of the vision, which is the actual birthplace, the city of Earth at today, if the UNESCO World Heritage Site, to see in the inauguration, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman, with, with his son, our beloved Prime Minister Mohammed bin Salman, so joyful on the inauguration of today. I think there was no one in the kingdom that wasn't pleased because everybody knows today is the baby of the king. But the crown prince sees the potential uh, as a young global leader, someone who's already prominent in the G20. He wants people to come to Saudi to not only see the birthplace of the kingdom, and the pride of all Saudi Arabia, but he wants Saudi Arabia and Dedea to be one of the great gathering spots in the world. This is a, this is a vision of a great global leader. Now, this is a city built out of mud. 30,000 people came here 300 years ago. But today, those people that come, they do something that we're noticing that they don't even know they're doing. When they're walking in the city of Earth, you find a lot of people running their hand along the, the mud buildings, the mud silhouettes. It's organic, it, it's very emotional. So people, the first reaction people have, wow, it's unbelievably beautiful, but it's a, it's a very emotional place. We wanna keep that emotion. And we have a brilliant opera house and a brilliant contemporary art museum. The one I'm waiting for is the House of Al Saud, because that museum designed by Lord Norman Forster will be for the first time in the history of the kingdom, the repository of the family that has guided this kingdom for 300 years. The global significance is actually a fabulous question because there's two ways to look at it. The global way of the whole, all the countries looking in, because you have a very dynamic, future-looking prime minister as head of state. So the crown prince now sees Saudi Arabia's role, not just, and I'll talk about the Saudi context, but he sees it as a center of inclusion, a center of mediation, a center of diplomacy, a center of economics, a center of leadership. So he wants a lot of emphasis. That's why we're working so hard. But in the middle of this dynamic G20 city of Riyadh is the jewel, which is Dereya, the birthplace. So it's very significant for all Saudis. It's the source of Saudi pride and identity. This is where we're from. And the Crown Prince feels very strongly, as the custodian of the two only boss does, that if you're proud of your, of your past, it will propel you into the future. So when you look at today, and uh, past, present, and future, and you look at brilliant ideas like NEOM, what will quality of life be 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now? That shows you the arc of the Crown Prince's uh, vision. Yes, you know, when we came here uh, five years ago, um, it was a great honor for me. And I always had great relationships with the Saudis. Uh, they're very passionate, very generous, very kind people. So I put the finger up, the one finger, 
to say that each individual, each individual is imperative to the success of Vision 2030. Everybody's got to take that upon himself to deliver 2030. But we behave as one family, one kingdom, only one birthplace. So the one represents authenticity, it represents unity, and it represents pride like that. So when we do that to each other, it's a way of saying, we're proud of ourselves, we're proud of Denea, we're proud of the kingdom, we're proud of Vision 2030, let's go. One is a Saudi-centric intention that all Saudis understand their birthplace and are proud of it, and that the community around Didea, which will attract 100,000 people to live and work and pray and recreate, as I said, that it has one of the highest quality of life, so the community prospers, and that that becomes a model for the kingdom, and the kingdom becomes a model for the Gulf, and the Gulf becomes a model for for global sustainability and quality of life. The other part of the equation is that now Saudi Arabia becomes a beacon of quality of life, of hope, of inclusion, of diplomacy, and it, and it takes its rightful fulfillment of its destiny in terms of leadership uh, with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in the decades to come. Those are the two intentions.